Hello. One, two, one, two. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm sorry for yesterday. I couldn't, uh, I don't know, couldn't stay in the class. <laughs> <laughs> good evening. Hi, good evening. I have a problem with my camera. Hmm. It's black. Okay, let's see. So where are we here? Okay, welcome Alicia, welcome Veronica. What happened with your camera you said? I don't know, uh, it's only black. It's just black? <laughs> yeah, oh. but uh, I don't know, it's a, uh, how do you say, falso? <laughs> oh, no fake. <laughs> it's, there's a false, there's a false. There's a uh -huh. false, or the cable is loose. The cable is loose. The cable is loose. You know, like it's the, some, some like yeah, loose jeans. L O O S E. Uh, yep. Loose. That loose. could be it. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Okay. So I'm getting ready too. Um, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing great. What about you? Hey. Oh, very good. I'm happy today. Me too. Oh, Why? Why are you happy? Excellent. Excellent. Hello, <laughs> Alicia. Hello, Veronica. Hello, Madeline. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. You don't see me. Too. me. You don't see me. Wait. Okay, you're a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, my camera is not good right now. Wait. I, I have the same problem, Melody. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. I am a, a black screen. Mm hmm. Hmm. One second. I'm just looking for something that will help us today. Hmm. Hmm. That's weird. Okay. Let's start the class. Um, what did you do? Um, what have you done today? Okay. Um, I have a long meeting, hmm. a virtual meeting, and um, many. I I did many tasks. Okay. I performed. Good. I performed many tasks. Sounds better. I performed many I tasks. Perform. What? Why perform? Lleve a cabo. Many, muchas tareas. Ah, okay. I performed many tasks. Mm -hmm. Many tasks. Okay. Thank you. Sounds better. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay. Good evening, Max. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Madeline. Hello, tell me, teacher. What have you done today? Ah, all 
good. Was good. I was working all day. I I I study with my students. Uh, and I was sending the homeworks. I review my 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 price, and I send to my job all the work in the year. And I was busy all day. Excellent, very good. Okay, repeat, Madeline. Homeworks. Homeworks. Yeah, the K, remember, homeworks. homeworks. Yes. Very good. Homeworks. How about you, Alicia? Um, I was busy all the day. I was checking the homeworks of my students and I had a meeting and I had um, I, I, I worked out in the street. You worked early out? Early in the morning, yes. You, okay, how early? Uh, um, 7 a.m. Uh, that's not early. No. <laughs> For me, yes. <laughs> <laughs> For me, early is like 4 a.m. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is very early. I woke up today. Early. I woke up today at 4 again. And I ah. took a shower. I started working at 5. So it was a good day, too. Okay. Yes. <laughs> good, good. What about you, Max? What have you done today? Uh -huh. Oh, by the uh, way, it was Alicia. a normal day. Okay. It was a normal oh. day? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty busy. Oh, there was a highlight. I had to to prepare some a couple of new computer new com new computer computers. Sorry, brand new computers. You have to install them. And uh, now, just to install some software. Oh, good. So install the they updates. are ready to to be used. Okay, no. Excellent. Okay. Do you do that for a living? Yes. Okay, you do that for a living. Well, you could work at Dell computers. Teacher, do you dry at your nice work or, or only at, at home? If I am sorry? By, by emails or, or you drive at your home, at your at your work. If I, if I drive to work? Yeah, you. Uh, no, I I'm not driving right now. I I'm I'm using the bus. I'm taking the bus to the other job. Uh, I I think, uh, but the quarantine and uh, you are working only in your in your house. Uh, it uh, as me as me. No. As yeah. Me. No. During the quarantine, um, I have been not working. I haven't been working. Uh, yes. Yeah, I have been just doing the online classes sometimes, you know, and until now, this month, I started working with you on full time, let's say from eight to nine and nine to 10. And then um, working here from home from five to 1230. And then I have to go out. I'm, I'm teaching on live classes now in the afternoon. Yeah, sorry. Uh, what kind sorry. of call center do you work? It's called Black Hawk. And what kind of business do you? Oh, we I worked what? the line of business. The line of business is uh, prepaid cards. We work with prepaid cards. You know how you put money on a card, and that's it. It's like gift cards. Gift cards, yeah. for example, the same thing. That's very popular in the states. You you buy something, and and you get a, a rebate. That's 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 the 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 word. You get a rebate card with a hundred, three hundred, five hundred dollars. You know, that's like getting money back from an investment. Let's say you contracted internet, for example, and they send you that yeah. money, and you can use it anywhere. You know, Walmart, whatever. That's very common. It's very common. Not here in El Salvador, I will say. No, I haven't heard about it. <laughs> Never heard about it too. Just the gift cards from. From a supermarket. <laughs> yeah, from the supermarket. That's okay. what we use. That's what we typically use. That's true. Okay, guys. So today, what's in it? What's cooking? What are we cooking today? Um, we have to talk about 
antonyms, I think it said. Let's see. Yeah, antonyms. It's not synonyms. It's antonyms. Hmm. Antonyms. Curious. Antonyms. Let's take a look. Okay, let's take a look at it. Let's start the class so we can move on and have some conversation. Remember that our goal is to talk, 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 talk. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's do it. Know about antonyms and synonyms help increase your vocabulary. To know about antonyms and synonyms help increase your vocabulary, take a look at the following antonyms and find its opposite. Listen carefully and repeat. Accept. Admit. Agree. Borrow. Deny. Disagree. Dislike. Divorce. Enjoy. Find. Forget. Lend. Lose. Marry. Refuse. Remember. Save. Spend. Now that you have listened to that pronunciation, make a chart on your notebook and complete it. Stay to see what we want you to do next. We want you to choose four pairs of opposites. Write sentences using each pair. Okay, so that's your mission right now. Let me take a screenshot of this little chart here. And I'll send it to the WhatsApp group so you can see it better. Give me one second. Let me stop sharing and I'll send it to you right away. Just a sec. Just a sec. Is it correct to say accept? Yeah. Accept what? The pronunciation. Uh, yeah. Accept. 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 Accept it. Admit it. He said, uh, he said accept. Accept? Mm, no. Accept. Yeah, that's that will be incorrect if you say accept, accept. You have to make the the k -k -k sound, accept. Accept. Yeah, you got the um. Screenshot. Yep, I just sent the screenshot. Okay. So there you have on the chat um, what I was sharing with you. Let's make sure we complete the chart on your notebook. Just grab your notebook and then we will check again to see if you did it right. I nine pair or opposites in this list. Complete the chart. Then compare with a partner. Yes. Uh, Teacher, we have to write the, the antonym. Yes, the opposite, okay. the antonym. Okay. So, Antonyms. Accept.
iPhone 4. Mm -hmm. yeah. I finish, teacher. You're done? Good, Alicia. Mm -hmm. What is the, the correct pronunciation? I finished or I finished it? I finished. Ah, okay. I finished. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Good. Only six. I don't do. I believe I'm done. Only six teacher. No, okay. I, cannot, I cannot more. Good try. <laughs> We're going to get into a discussion. I'm sure we will get into a discussion about one of these antonyms. Uh, because I thought it, it meant something else, but let's see. Um, let me open this. Which one? Which one? <laughs> I know what you're thinking right now. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Okay. Let's see. So if you notice one thing, it's accept, refuse. So it's, it's beside each other, right? So let's go with the next one. Uh, let's go with admit. Deny. 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 Good. Good. Admit. So the antonym will be deny. Okay, good. Eight. Let me do the spotlight here. So we have admit and oh my god, no, that doesn't work. I need a pen. Where is the pen? Wait a minute. Okay, admit deny. Now let's go with the next one. Um agree. Agree. Ah, oh, that's easy. Uh -huh. Side by side. Yeah. Agree. Disagree. Disagree. Agree. Disagree. 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 Okay. Dislike. Uh, enjoy. Ah, yes. Hey. Yes. Of course. Of course. Oh my God, of wait. Course. Enjoy. <laughs> you miss borrow. Uh, did I miss borrow? Yeah. Uh, no, but we're agree. Yeah. Yeah. We, oh my God. Yes. I'm sorry. Borrow. Uh huh. So, okay, what's the antonym of borrow? Lend? Lend. 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 What, do you th what do you say, Max? No, lend is borrow with the same. <laughs> is different. it a synonym? Is it a, why is it different? No, it's the Can you, can you lend me or uh, borrow they me are synonyms. with the same? No. Lend me. May if... I borrow your pen or lend me your pen with the same? Hmm. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I, I believe the same. I, I, I won't Borrow disagree. I won't disagree with you. Borrow means pedir prestado. Ajá. Yeah. Yes. Lend. lend is prestar. Es la contraparte. Ajá. Es la contraparte, exactly. Ajá. Yes, so if I lend you... Can you lend me? Can you lend oh, me? Me prestas? May I borrow your? May same? I borrow? Puedo pedir prestado? Tú? Me prestas? May I borrow your pen? So let's put this into context. If I ask you for a favor, I'm asking you, may I borrow your thing? But if it's you. A, 
It's if polite. You me, yes, but if you give me something, you will have to tell me, let me lend you your my remote. Let me lend you my remote. Hey, I lend you my remote. And when you ask for money to a bank. <laughs> yeah, that's a loan. That's a loan. A loan. Loan. A loan. 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 Just like just like yeah. loan, Max. Loan. Different spelling. Loan. Pulmon. Loan. 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 Yes. Uh, a, a loan from a, a bank. In, the, in a bank, it's loan. I know the word. Yeah, loan. Excellent. Uh, okay. So I, I think we are all, we all agree with, with that, right? Okay. Let's go with divorce. Mary. Mary. I, I like that Mary. word. <laughs> I like that word, divorce, and I don't like the word nothing. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I was She's looking not... for in jail. <laughs> in jail. <laughs> okay, divorce, marry. What do we have next? Enjoy, it's done. Find. Find, Find and lose. 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 Okay. Be careful with the spelling of lose because lose. there is a, a noun, right? An adjective. Yes, means Mami, What is that? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so let's continue. Find, lose, then we have forget. Uh, remember. Hold on, I'm not typing. Forget. Remember. Hola. La okay. Forget, remember. Um, Lend, we, we use it already. Lose, marry, refuse is done. Remember, save. Spend. 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 Okay. Now I'm going to do something else. This is easy, right? It's just opposites. And you can find opposites in, in many other uh, contexts, not just um, using these words. Let me do something. Where is it? Oh, well, borrow and lend are not that opposite. I don't know. Yeah, they're they're not that opposite. It's just the use how you use them. I think there's a difference. So adjectives can be another way, you know, of explaining antonyms. Um, ah, let me show you really quick. They are like steel and mug. For you are the magnet and I am steel. Who sings no. that song? M M M U G mug. Oh, mug. Okay, yeah, mug. Mug and, mug and what? And steel. Are Still, oh, they are they're... the same. Mug, Mug, I believe it is to steal with violence. And still is when you grab something. You're, you're teaching me something new today, sir. <laughs> oh, because let me see what you're talking about. Uh, where is that thing? Hold on. Oh my god, I don't have it here. Yeah, I don't have it here. Okay, what is is mug? Um, a verb? Did you find it as a verb? Yeah, it's a verb. And ah, it means? It's cool. It's cool. Clear. When someone, uh, I don't know how to say that, it steals something from, from you, oh, but with violence. Oh, that's why the word muggler. Muggler, yeah. okay. Asalto, okay. Mugging, mugs. Yeah, because I knew it as a, as a noun. The mug where you drink water. No. That's what I knew. Good. I didn't know it and, was a verb. And to steal is when you didn't notice that you're missing your cell phone, for example. Let someone yeah. stole it. And these are synonyms. Yeah, exactly. Then you have bogler, bogler, which is another one. A, a rubber, bogler, bogler, rubber, thief. Thief, and then you have the word theft, 
Theft. 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 T h e f t. T h e f t. Theft. And that's oh. that's yeah, but that's without you noticing. Oh, another one. Shoplifting. Shoplifting, which <laughs> is which is when they just you know that term. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> Have you done it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shoplifting, guys. Oh, maybe, but I didn't <laughs> mean to. <laughs> ah, come on. You didn't mean to. Uh, you go to a one. shop, right? And you put something, like you steal something from the shop. And there's there's another word. Yeah. Pickpocket. Pickpocket. Yeah. That's another word. There's a lot of synonyms. Okay. Antonyms. You have bright, dark. Dark. Okay. Bright that's practice. Dark. Humble. Insignificant. What is humble? Humilde. Beautiful Spanish. <laughs> we were doing good. Remember, you can use uh, synonyms to explain things, and you were doing it, Max. Good job. Okay. Insignificant, humble will be the opposite. Insignificant. When you're humble, you, you don't. Proud? Proud, okay, yes. There's a word that I don't know how to spell it, but I cocky. Cocky is one, yes. That's perfectly that that's the opposite to, to humble. Of humble. How do you spell it? I don't it remember. C O C K I bread. No, cocky. Cocky. Yeah, it I think it's the same way it sounds. Let me Google it because C O C K Y. Maybe. That was yeah, I had I had it. Uh huh. Rob. Yeah, cocky. C O C K Y. That's right. People tell you don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. Okay. There's another one. Brag. B R A G. Brag. I don't know that word. Yeah, when you brag, presumir. When you brag about your achievements. Brag. Mm hmm. Okay, now let's How see do you if spell that Brack B as in boy R A G Brack Brack Okay B N S No B R A G Brack Yeah I heard it on a tail How do I use it? Don't brag Yeah stop bragging Stop bragging. Stop bragging. You can double the G when you add ing or you move it to the past. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now look at that. Grand. The opposite Grandfather, of. Grandfather, grandmother. Mm -hmm. Okay. Grandson, mm -hmm. grand. As an adjective, yeah. Grand. Be what? Small. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, In... That grand was the opposite of humble or, what? or insignificant. Oh, or insignificant. Mm -hmm. Humble, insignificant. And you have grand. Grand. Ugly. What's the opposite of ugly? It's a simple. Beautiful. Beautiful for women. Pretty. Handsome. Ugly. Pretty. Handsome. Or pretty. Or pretty. Pretty. Beautiful. Pretty. Ugly. Now, ugly, you can only use it with people. Beautiful. Okay. It's not ugly. I, I have a question for you. What do you use to say that something is ugly? Something. Mm -hmm. huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you use to say that a situation is ugly? Because you cannot ugly. say that a situation is ugly. Mm. It's Maybe wonderful. Horrible. Awful. Horrible. Wonderful. Awful. Horrible. Awful. Someone awful. said it. Alicia? Who's talking? Awful. Yes. Awful. 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 That's right. Awful. awful. A W F U L. Awful. Mm -hmm. Now, ugly, the opposite, beautiful. Tiny. Mess. Mm. Tiny? Big. Big. Okay. Let's see. T towering. T tiny. Towering. Tiny. Towering. What is towering? 
towering. Don't know. Don't know. Me neither. It's the first time I hear that adjective. Tower. Tower, you know what it means, right? Big. Tower, it means. Yeah. Like the towers of a castle. Oh, towering. Imponente. Okay. Interesting. Imponente. Towering is the, tiny. It's the, it's the towering. opposite. <laughs> What's the opposite? Of tiny. Of, of imponente. Of imponente. Tiny. Oh, tiny. tiny. Yeah, tiny. Look at these Tower. are flashcards. These are flashcards. Okay. So we're sweeping, you know, and you get it. Okay. Tiny. Boring. Exciting. Happy. Smiling is happy. Entertaining. Happy. Entertaining. Or exciting. Exciting. Okay. Boring. Exciting. Unknown. Oh, no, I'm no. known. <laughs> known. Known. Famous. Okay. Famous. Unfamous. Yeah, if you are unfamous, excellent. Yeah, you, you use a prefix. Unknown. Desconocido, right? Yeah. Famous. Famous. Excellent. Famous. Very good. Famous. Uh... Yeah, famous. Famoso, right? Okay. Impressive, unimpressive, 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 unimpressive. Okay, we turn the slide. Spe spectacular, 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 spectacular. Okay, unimpressive, spectacular. Quiet. Noise. Noisy. 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 Loudly. Loudly. Yeah, loudly. It's noisy. Loudly. Very good. Noisy. Quiet. Empty. Empty. Full. Empty. Full. Full. Empty. Full. Narrow. No. Crowded. Ah, yeah. Yeah, oh. full. Full too. Full. Crowded. Okay. Empty. Crowded. Um, pleasant. 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 Pleasant? Or I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Charming. Comfortable. 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 Charming. Charming. That's right. Sure. Uncomfortable. Comfortable. Unpleasant. Charming. I. What have you found unpleasant lately? What have you found unpleasant lately? Pleasant. Unpleasant. Lately. Unpleasant. Unpleasant. I don't know. Yeah, what have you found unpleasant lately? I'm trying to do something here, but it doesn't work. Okay. Uh huh. What have you found unpleasant in your life? Uh, some situation. Any situation? Uh huh. No, only a bad situation. I don't know what's going on with my screen. Hold on. I don't know share it again. Uh huh. A bad situation. What, found on please. Yeah, like traveling by bus, for example. Yeah. That would be unpleasant. Yeah. Okay. Modern. Old. Traditional. Modern. Traditional. traditional. Good. Yeah. Traditional. Traditional. Ancient. Old fashioned, antique way, antique. ancient, antique. ancient, antique. ancient, yeah, antique, ancient. An and antique, antique, ancient. ancient. Oh, so, okay, ancient. so we have ancient. Let's see, ancient, 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 okay, ancient. modern, okay, quiet, sluggish, slow, sluggish, slow, slow. Oh, sluggish. What is a sluggish? Sluggish. Uh, slow is it sounds like the like the insect, the slug. Slug. Like caracol? Yeah. Very slow. Okay, fast. Yeah. Let me check something really quick. Hasty. Oh, look at the spelling. Quiet. 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 Okay. And here we have. Quiet. Sluggish. Slow. Okay. 
sluggish is like <laughs> do you know okay. do you remember Zootopia? Have you seen Zootopia? Yes. Yes. Ah uh, yeah. Do yeah. you remember Flash? Yes. Yeah. Flash. Flash. I yeah. don't remember that. He he's a slug. That's a slug. He's a slug. Yeah. But he's got a nice car. He, yeah, that's why the name. <laughs> <laughs> Flash. Okay, but slug is babosa. Okay, okay. Yeah. Who is okay. Flash? Slug is a babosa. Oh, bustling. It's a also bustling. 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 Ah, don't remember. Bustling. Bustling. What does busting mean? No. I'm, I'm on it. So, so, Zootopia. Busting. Uh -huh. Zootopia. That's an, a great movie, actually. Full activity. Okay, yeah. that's like very busting. noisy. Busting. Bullicioso. Uh huh. Energy and buses. Okay, bustling. Quiet, sluggish, and slow. Bus bustling. 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 Okay. Bustling. Okay. Sorry. How do you translate hasty? Hasty? Yeah. I don't know. You tell me. H A S H A S T Y. H A S T Y. Why? Yeah, uh, I remember a friend of mine called Hasty, Hasty, to one of her nephew, because he never he never stopped. He was always running. Oh, okay. And Hasty kept... is like saying is... in a rush, rush. It's a full of busy. It's some sort of uh huh, speedy, speedy, always hyper, uh, hyper. Yeah, Hasty. we say that. That someone has has had a lot of sugar, for example. Uh huh. When someone had a lot of sugar, a sugar rush. That's right. Lifeless. 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 Lively. Uh, that's like when you're about to die. I will say moribundo, right? Lifeless. Mm -hmm. Lively. Ah, lively. Yeah, yeah look at life. Lively. Lively. Yeah. You look so lively today, Madeline. You're always lively. Lively. Yeah. You're always lively, and I'm always lifeless. Very tired. Okay. Less Good. in Spanish, she's a little like sin. Sin, exactly. In mm vida. -hmm. That's why I, I don't understand payless. Yeah, pay less. Yeah, but you have to pay for the less. Less actually is menos. Hey, menos. Mm -hmm. Pay less. Okay, empty, we said crowded, but also. Vacío. Congested. Congested. You have empty, congested. you have congested. Uh, congested. 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 Okay. Open. <laughs> okay. <Sorry>. Open. Airy. <laughs> Airy, what is that? Oh my yes. A close. Aireado. Aireado, yeah, and that's closed. Close. Open, airy. Okay. We're almost done. Close. Okay, closed. Neat, well maintained. Neat, well maintained, or well maintained? No. No, Neat. well maintained. How do you say defectuoso in English? Mix. Uh, These glasses are neat. These glasses are neat. 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 They don't have any scratches. Or broken. Anything. They're not Missy. broken. Missy. No. They're not broken. They're not Missy. messy. Messy. Missy. Messy. Okay. Neat. Well maintained. What's the opposite? Shabby. Oh. Shabby. Shabby. I've heard that word before. Why? You work for me. Oh, shabby is like. I'm gonna say it, desgastado. Okay. <laughs> That's um. shabby. Yeah. But it's no opposite. It's no order. order. Not order. Which one? Neat. This one? Neat? 
Yes, need. need you could say is ordered, tidy too, but it's more like good in good conditions. Exactly. In good conditions. Okay. This place is neat, impeccable. Mm -hmm. Right. Impeccable. impeccable. Neat. Well maintained. Oh, you can use abandoned. Is as an opposite, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we have shabby. 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 Shabby, which is desgastado. Shabby. Desgastado. Mm -hmm. What about your clothes? My clothes you are they are shabby. Worn yeah, off. Yeah, my clothes. Worn what? off. Excellent. Worn off. Mm -hmm. Worn off. Worn off. Worn off. Excellent. Okay. Wonderful. Awesome. Okay. Wonderful. Awesome. Madeline? Ugly. Ugly? Ugly? Remember that these are amazing Wonderful. words. Amazing. Wonderful. Amaz amazing. Uh, horrible. Awful. Horrible. Awful. Horrible. Terrible. 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 You got it. Terrible. Awful. Okay. Awful. In bad conditions, let's say. Awful. Okay. Awful. We're almost done. Unhelpful. Uninformative, useless, which is more useless is more common. Unhelpful, uh, uninformative, informative, and helpful. Helpful. Unhelpful, uninformative. Helpful. helpful. What is unhelpful? Uh, Without sin ayuda. Without use, yeah. sin ayuda. Damas. Mm. When someone is unhelpful or yeah. some information, the un uninformative, inútil. Inútil. That's right. Inútil. That's right. Me estás oyendo. Useful. Inútil. Alicia. I will I say it's not so bad. Inútil is better. Que no ayuda. Que no ayuda. Inútil. Yeah. Hi, what is the easy meaning? Uh, but come not on. useless. Uh -huh. I will have said, okay, unhelpful, helpful. Uninformative, yes, informative. Useless, useful. useful. That's right, you got it. Unhelpful, uninformative, informative, useless, uh, use, uh, useful, uh -huh, useful. Very good. Large. Enlarged. Narrow. Narrow. Short. 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 Compact. Large. Short. Ah, compact. <laughs> compact. Yeah. Large. Enlarged. Stretch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Can you say compact? Somebody small. else. Short. Small. Reduced. Small. Reduced. There's another there's another word, Max. What do you think? When you wash a shirt and it shrink. Shrinks. Shrinks. You got it, man. You're good. Shrinks. Can you spell that? Shrink, shrink, shrink. No. Uh, come on. I gotta S -H write it. S H R I N K S. Shrink. Yeah, well, without the easy. S shrink. Easy. That's Why? easy. Shrink Why? and coher. Shrink. Encoger. Thank you. Shrink. Uh, spell it, please. S H R I N K. And when your clothes shrinks, when you wash it, shrink, shrunk, shrunk. <laughs> how how it goes? <laughs> Just like sing sang song. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Inhos inhospitable. Inhospitable. Let's say inhospitable. Inhospitable. Unwelcoming. Unwelcoming. Hmm. Unwelcoming. Welcome. I don't know. <laughs> Welcoming. Welcome. Comfortable. Um, this has, oh, I know. Hostile. Hostile. Okay, unhospitable, unwelcoming, hostile is the opposite. The, the um, 
what are we what are we studying antonyms right antonyms hospitable oh come on hospitable what about hostile <laughs> hostile 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 yeah yeah okay yeah. disorganized really disorganized Orga untidy organized organized organized, <laughs> organized. well planned uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> tidy okay so that's the way you use it now we are just seven so i'll split you just for 10 minutes make sure you use some of the uh, adjectives we have seen on the positive form and the negative form because basically it's the same right what we have seen is positive and negative of uh, different antonyms. So try to use them in a sentence, try to make five sentences together, okay, as a team, five sentences together, okay? Okay. Okay. What about, why don't we apply yesterday's lesson to today's lesson? Um, if I was naked on the street, I would feel embarrassed. Embarrassed. Okay. Embarrassed. How do you spell embarrassed? Uh, e M D A R. <laughs> and I don't know. <laughs> double S, maybe. <laughs> no, it's know. just double R. Embarrassed. Embe embarrassed. Yeah, it's just one R. I'll check it for you right now. Okay. So that was, um, if, I was, if I was naked on the street, I will feel embarrassed. That was yesterday, yesterday's lesson, the second conditional, remember? Yes, I remember. Okay, let's try to apply. It was a double R actually. Double R, E, D at the end. Yeah, embarrassed. Oh my God, look at your teacher writing misspelling embarrassed oh my god sorry <laughs> okay guys let's go and practice as a team okay i just made an update mm -hmm, on zoom good let's go Hello. Hello Elvis, hello Vero. Hello. Ay, me había funcionado y se volvió. Ah, yes. Okay, we have to write five sentences. Yes. Okay. Do you have any idea for a sentence? Oh. Mm. Like uh, the Anthony or what, whatever, uh, whatever or with, the other with uh, like um, a positive topic. adjective or negative adjective. For example, yeah, okay. today was a wonderful day. Yeah, today was a wonderful. Okay, I will write today was a wonderful day, okay? But, mm -hmm. yesterday was awful. Mm -hmm. And maybe this, this child is bustling. Okay, the child? This child is bustling. Buicios. Uh, ah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Can you repeat it? I will be unsure, but now that. Okay, there I'm using um, antonyms. Unsure, confident. Ah, okay. That's a good idea. You can put two in context. Okay. 
Okay, good job. Okay, thank you, teacher. We can use the first. Uh... Entonces, sería, eh, digamos, una palabra. Eh, si yo, con el if y todo eso, va, porque si diría, if I, if I, eh, if I win the lottery, si me ganara la lotería. If I won. I, uh, if won. If I won. I, ¿cómo? If I won, if I won the lottery. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, I would, I would uh, be happy. I will be happy. I will be happy. Uh -huh. Yes. If let's add, let's add something else. Let's say if I won the lottery, I would be happy. Oh my God, I'm using caps, I'm sorry. If I won the lottery, I will be happy. But if you won it, I will be sad. <laughs> if you won the lottery, I will be happy. But if you won it, yeah. I will be sad. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so the antonyms will be um, happy and sad, right? Okay. okay. Disappointed, okay. disappointed, um, jealous, you know, antonyms. Come on, guys. Great job. Keep it up. Okay. Keep doing. Okay. For example, is I. If I. <clears throat> If I, I don't know what is the past tense of save. What is saved. the what? If I saved. The past tense of save. Yeah, save, it's save. It's kind of difficult to make, to make what you are, to do what you ask. Look at the example on the, on the chat. And someone else, someone else was saying another one. If I won the lottery, if I won the lottery? No, this chat, Max, on the, on Zoom. If I won... Oh, where am I writing? Oh, my God, sorry. If I won the... I wrote it up here. What am I doing? Okay. Um, okay. I said... Uh, if I won I the made lottery, won. I will be happy. But if you won it, I will be sad. Okay. Happy, okay. sad. Uh, I, then I have... said something like, uh, "If I were married, I would like to be." <laughs> no, if I'm, if I were married, I would like to be divorced in a month. I would like some. to get. I would like to get divorced. I will get divorced. I will get divorced in a month if I were married. I would. No, no, no. What about this? If I, if we, if we were married, I will divorce you in a month. <laughs> yeah, definitely. In a month, something like that. Something it's like kind of offensive, but <laughs> yeah, but you're using an you're using antonyms. That's right. Let me just one second. Antonym with the conditional together? Uh, no, I cannot yeah. to write it. If, if I, if I accepted it, what you said. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to refuse it. Uh, I have something like, oh, listen, listen, I'm going to make up one. If I accepted what you say yesterday, I wouldn't be able to refuse it tomorrow. Mm. Something like that. Mm. Sorry, guys. Home duty calls. Call of duty. Call of duty. Yeah. What were you saying? I'm sorry. Ah, was made up another sentence. Uh, if I it. accepted what you said yesterday, I wouldn't be able to refuse it tomorrow. 
Yeah, <laughs> you see, that's a good one. Awesome. Yeah, no, but they are good. kind of <laughs> kind of difficult. Of difficult too. Yeah, but you get used to it. Okay, you get used to it. You and this, this, can... this can help you on rebuttals when you're selling. You can use rebuttals there... with this. Using the conditional and the opposite uh, antonyms uh, together, mm -hmm. uh, I cannot to write it because it's, uh, it's different. Uh, if I won the lottery, the lottery, I could mm -hmm. lose. I could lose. No. I could lose my friends. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you if you buy this today. You will not have problems tomorrow. I don't know. If you solve your problems today with this product, tomorrow you will have no worries. Problems, worries, I'm saying the same thing. Uh, anyways, you have to think about it. Okay, let's go back. We're almost done. Where's every where's everybody? Okay, they're coming. Teacher. Yep. I was wondering something. How can I express when I am right about something? For example, I am a hundred percent sure. Sure. That mm -hmm. are 100%. you a hundred percent sure? Sure, sure. Yeah, I'm 100% sure. Um, I know I'm right. I know I'm right. No, but I was, uh, I wanted to to ask um, someone if he's 100% percent, percent sure. Are you totally positive about this? Are you totally positive? Are you 100% sure? Um, do you have any second thoughts about this? Any second thoughts? Thoughts, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so today's lesson, we just need to practice. Tomorrow, we're gonna start with this topic, the, the class, last class. So make sure you study. And please go to the platform on the discussion forum underneath the, the video, Jessica's video. Try to use the, um, the antonyms that are expressed on the video, okay? Okay. Take care. Good night and good fight. Take care. <laughs> good night. Bye bye. Night, Thank you. you.